going to lead you through a great yoga hip opener set. So we'll do both um, right and left leg, and it moves from our flow. So again, just breathe, follow along. We're gonna be holding some poses for a good amount of time, so just be sure to breathe through them. Starting in our mountain pose and prayer position, let's move through our sun salutation. So go ahead, breathing, inhaling, exhaling. Inhale, stretch those arms skyward. Exhale, into your forward fold. Inhale to your flat back line. Exhale, release forward. Powering through your legs, reach your right leg into this high runner's lunge. We're gonna stay here for three breaths like we did at the very beginning of our flow. So inhaling, exhaling, Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. On your next inhale, we're gonna lengthen our front leg. Now my heel does not reach the mat back there, so I'm gonna hop it forward until I can lower it down. And I'm in my lengthened forward folded pyramid pose. My toes are pointed straight ahead. Again, for a stretch like this, this is pretty deep. You might want to use some support blocks, even some pillow cushions to help bring the floor to you if you are struggling reaching. Dropping your chin to your chest, pull that left hip back, right hip forward, try to square off as much as possible. You're welcome to inhale to a little flat back line. Exhale, release forward and breathe. Two, three. Soften this knee back and then return our back foot if you brought it forward. Next, we're going to release our knee down over the patella. Keep the toes tucked for a few breaths. Zip that belly in and away, breathing, squeezing. Now release your toes. We're thinking about dropping this right hip flexor down all the way, so really releasing that hip down and through. Now you have an option to stay here. I like to call this home base. If you want to get a little deeper, walk your hands in to the inside of that left leg. You can toe heel it open a little bit. And then you're welcome to walk down to your elbows or any height. You can stay here in this low lying lunge, or if you want to walk your foot out and let the knee fall open and away, you can find your lizard's pose. Just be really careful with about your knee here. So gentle on the knee. Take a few more breaths here. And then walking back up to that low line lunge home base position. So again, you're welcome to stay here or you can bring your hands up to the thigh and still drop this hip downward. I'm thinking about rolling my shoulders down and back zipping my belly in, and still breathing, so you can have strong core with full breath. You're welcome to stay here, or you can sweep your arms skyward, maybe even take your sternum and chin into a mini back bend, really reaching, pulling, lengthening. Exhaling, down to your forward fold. We're gonna lift and tuck this leg underneath us, into a seated twist. So now we're facing away from each other, huh? Just go ahead and give yourself a little twist to one side, twist to the other. You're welcome to release forward in your fire log pose for a couple of breaths. Just whatever feels good here for you and your hip. Roll and round up, plant our left leg down, extend our right leg back, back to that high runner's lunge. Now you have the option to go to your down dog right away. You can stay here and breathe, or you can move through your flow, depending on what kind of workout you are wanting to do today. Find a nice stretch in your down dog pose. Don't forget to zip that belly in and away. I was forgetting. Exhaling, inhale, gaze to the top, power through. Right leg, left leg, exhale in your forward fold. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. 
exhaling to prayer. Let's move to the left leg. Moving to the left side on our deep hip opening stretch phrase. We inhale and exhale. Inhale, sweep arms skyward. Exhaling into your forward fold. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, release. Inhale, power through. This time the left leg reaches back to your high runner's lunge. Again, you're really reaching and lengthening through that left hip flexor. We're gonna stay here for those three breaths, just like we did earlier. Again, thinking about zipping the belly in, lengthening, tightening. Exhaling. On your inhale, we're going to lengthen our front leg. If you need to, hop this back leg forward so the heel finds the ground. Really lengthen, that's super tight on the side, your front leg. And again, using any height you want. So blocks, pillows, stacked blankets work well, books. Go ahead and pull right hip back, left hip forward. Maybe inhale to a little flat back line. Exhale into your forward folded pyramid, dropping chin to chest, squaring hips. Breathe here, inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, and exhaling. Softening your front knee, hopping this leg back to your runner's lunge. On your exhale, soften that knee down over the patella. Toes stay tucked. Keep releasing these hips through. Really send some breath there. Feel the nice stretch, the opener in our metatarsals we're doing for our foot and then release those toes. Breathe here, allow those hips to fall. Now you're welcome to stay here or move to the inside. You can walk this foot out, give yourself some room. You're welcome to go down to your elbows or lower on your prop. You can stay right here where you are or toe heel this leg out, rolling to the outside of the foot to your lizard's pose. So again, whatever feels good for your hips and body in this position. Let's keep breathing. Feels good, huh? All right, exhaling, walking this foot back, finding your home base position. You can stay here or bring your hands up to your thighs. Again, still releasing those hips through, pulling, rolling the shoulders back. We don't want to get all tensed in there. So release those shoulders down, let everything fall. You're welcome to stay here, or you can sweep those arms up skyward. You're welcome to stay, or maybe invite in a little mini back bend. Exhale, releasing down, tucking your toes, coming back to that high runner's lunge, and this time we tuck our leg underneath us. Now we're facing each other for our twist, sitting tall, take a little twist, and you're welcome to hold these twists longer by any means. Releasing out, twisting the other direction, counter twist, and then finding a nice fire lock pose, Whatever feels good for you here in those hips. Again, you're welcome to stay here as long as possible. Inhaling, rolling on up, returning back to the same place, so still planting that right leg, extending the left, and then we'll inhale our right leg in line. You're welcome to go to your down dog or through your 